a welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach, and I'm on the WW Personal Points Plan. Happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, so it is what I eat in a day. I'm going to be sharing with you all of my delicious healthy food for the day, a delicious dinner recipe, the dogs, just a really fun day today. You're going to come along with me every step of the way. So if you are excited for another What I Eat in a Day, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I would love to have you here. And don't forget to click the bell right next to it because I do upload five days a week and you never want to miss a single video. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come on over, join our community on Facebook. We are 20,000 members strong and growing. So let's jump in to what I eat in a day. Hey, bro, don't you look at that. I said, my friend, what you looking at? I think she is something for me. Excuse me, miss. It's my first time here. Maybe you can show me out of here. I think she got something in me. So here's my breakfast for this morning. I made these in my meal prep last week. These cottage cheese bowls are amazing. Whenever I'm feeling like I want some extra protein, healthy fats, just a really good way to start my day, I've been making these. They keep me extremely full, definitely can make it till morning snack and sometimes even lunch. So this is three quarters of a cup of low fat cottage cheese, a tablespoon of sliced almonds and walnuts, some berries, and a little bit of cinnamon. This recipe is on my website, so I'll make sure that is linked down below for you. But this is my breakfast for this morning. So as part of my 2022 goals, I shared with you guys in my goals video. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that down below. I go over my 2022 goals. We recap my 2021 goals. I let you guys know whether or not I reach them. Part of my 2022 goals is to get in more movement. You guys know I love jazzercise. I go three times a week. I want to go more days a week. It just doesn't always work into my schedule. So I wanted to get something for at home workout use. I wanted something that would keep my interest, keep it peak so that I would want to continue to use the equipment, something that doesn't take up a lot of space and something that's just kind of new and fun. So I decided on a weighted hula hoop. Now I know that these are all the rage right now. They're actually part of a lot of workout classes and gyms. They're really good for your waistline and just overall toning your body and strengthening your core. So I went ahead and picked up the Eno Jenna Smart Weighted Hula Hoop. This hoop has 24 detachable knots so that you can customize the size of the hoop to fit around your waist. It not only burns fat, but it also massages your waist to relax you and give you kind of a comfortable experience when you're using the weighted hula hoop. They say if you use the weighted hula hoop 30 minutes a day for five days, you can burn 800 calories. That's quite a hefty calorie burn using a weighted hula hoop. It's super easy to use. The Smart Fitness Hoop will not fall. Even beginners can use it. The Smart Exercise Hoop is the easiest and most interesting way to exercise. Not only does it burn fat, makes your waist slim. It's suitable for aerobics and dancing. It helps you lose weight. It regulates your gut and it's relaxing. It's comfortable to use. Men, women, children, anyone who needs to lose weight or tone up their body and strengthen their core, the weighted hula hoop definitely is a huge game changer for that. The smallest that the hoop can go is 13 of the little knots, and that is for someone who's slim or for children with a waist of 26 inches or less. Then you, the middle of the road is 17 knots. This is for the average woman who has a waist of 33 inches or less. It has 24 knots, max, which is suitable for someone who has a little bit of extra weight on their body like myself. And this goes up 
to a waist that is 47 inches. It's super, super easy to put together. It took me literally five minutes to put in the right amount of knots for me. And it was super fun to use. Now, I'm not the best hula hooper, but I'm hoping that I will get better as time goes on and as I continue to use the weighted hula hoop. Really, really cool. Just a fun little fitness thing to have at home. I wanted to share it with you guys if you were in the market for a fun piece of at-home equipment that literally is so easy, doesn't take up a lot of space, and really is a lot of fun. You can buy this one right off of Amazon. It's less than $30. In fact, it's $28.99, which is such a great deal for a piece of exercise equipment for the home. I will go ahead and put the Amazon link down in the description box for you. I've really enjoyed it. I've had just a ton of fun with it and I can't wait to continue using it and become a much better hula hooper. So here's my morning snack. I'm going to have one of my Evolve protein shakes. I buy these on Target online. I'll link them down below for you. I've actually never seen them inside my Target, so I end up just buying them online. They're really, really good. I try to drink a protein shake a day. It just helps me get in my protein. Low carb, low fat, low sugar. This one is really good. It is plant-based. If you follow a plant-based lifestyle or you just like plant-based protein drink, this is going to be my morning snack. I don't know if you guys can see, but it is snowing again. And it looks to me like we have plenty of snow. Hopefully you can see that. It is coming down nice big flakes. So here's my lunch for today. I'm having one of my meal preps from this last week. I have one left. This is so good, you guys. This is such a great meal prep. It's in the same video as my breakfast, so I'll make sure that's linked down below. But I just have some fresh green beans with a little bit of light butter, salt and pepper, some smoky seared chicken, half of a sweet potato with cinnamon, and then I'm having a sugar-free lemon lime jello for dessert. And I am working on my gallon of water. I'm over halfway done. So this is today's lunch. How come you're the only dog up, huh? How come you're the only dog up, buddy? The other two are still in bed. Is anyone gonna get up today, huh? Oh, Lola, are you so cozy? Yeah. Mommy covered you this morning. Oh, yes, everybody rise and shine. Rise and shine. Wake him up, Palmer. Wake him up. Wake him up. Wake them up. I'm doing some work at my computer and I think I'm going to have a Gatorade with protein. I have been loving these. There's 10 grams of protein, 50 calories. I haven't tried the glacial cherry yet, so I'm excited to have this. This will also tide me over until I have a snack a little bit later today. For an afternoon snack, I am keeping it pretty simple. I still have a little bit of these deluxe mixed nuts left over from the holidays. These are from Nutstop. I'll put a link in the description box for 10% off. It's not an affiliate link or anything. They just gave me a discount code for you guys. So I'm going to have one serving, one quarter cup of mixed nuts. And then for some protein, I'm having my favorite meat stick. These are the Nick sticks. I buy these off of Amazon. This is the turkey one in the green package. You would get both of these sticks for 75 calories and there's 10 grams of protein. It is such a great way to get in protein for super low calories and points. So nuts and a meat stick is my afternoon snack. See, this is the current situation. See, I've been napping all afternoon. He finally just got up. This one, oh yeah, stretch it out, bud. He got up just a little bit ago. And Lola, she is come. Oh, she is up. You're up. Hi, I didn't even know you'd be up. For tonight's dinner, I am making meatloaf muffins with barbecue sauce, and I'm going to roast up some asparagus. So let me show you what's in the recipe. You'll need some fresh asparagus or whatever vegetable you would like, salt and pepper, an onion, a pound of 96% extra lean ground beef, eggs, Worcestershire sauce, and your favorite no sugar added barbecue sauce. I love the original from Sweet Baby Ray's. The first thing I'm going to do is trim up my asparagus and get it on a sheet pan with some nonstick cooking spray and some seasonings and get this into the oven while we prepare the meatloaf. I'm 
I'm going to season my asparagus with this barbecue seasoning from Trader Joe's. It's so good. And I feel like it goes really well with the whole barbecue meatloaf theme. And then I'll also add a little bit of salt and pepper. The asparagus is going in a 400 degree oven for probably 20 to 25 minutes or until it's roasted. So to get started on our meatloaf muffins, I've added my pound of 96% extra lean ground beef to a bowl. I'm going to add one egg. In the original recipe, it calls for a slice of bread or some breadcrumbs. I'm not eating that right now, so I'm not going to add that. Feel free to incorporate that if you would like. I'm also going to add up my finely chopped onion, one half of a cup of my Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, and some salt and pepper. We're going in with our hands and we're going to mix this together. I always say this is the least fun part of making meatloaf, meatballs, meatloaf muffins, is just digging in with our hands. I went ahead and sprayed nine of the little spots in my muffin pan here. The recipe makes nine mini meatloaves. I'm using the largest scoop, my little three scoop pack off of Amazon. I'll make sure that I link that down below for you. And I'm just going to scoop in nine little mini meatloaves. I'm going to take the flat end of my spoon and just kind of press these into place. With our barbecue sauce, I'm going to put just about half of a tablespoon of barbecue sauce on top of each of the little meatloaves and then I'll just spread that around with my spoon so that we have the barbecue sauce mixed in and on top. These are ready to go into a 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes or until they're cooked completely through. This and the asparagus should be done pretty close to the same time. I just pulled out the asparagus and the meatloaf muffins. Doesn't all of this look so incredibly delicious? I am going to plate this up and I'll be back to share my dinner points and calories. I know what you're thinking. My meatloaves don't really look like mini meatloaves. So, word to the wise, let these rest for quite a while before, before trying to pull them out of the pan. I pulled mine out too soon and they just kind of fell apart. They'll go down the same way. So just leave them resting a bit before you pull them out. But this is my dinner. So I have some of the asparagus. This is two of the mini meatloaf muffins. I will put points and calories here on the screen. I'm really excited for this. It smells really good. It doesn't look the best. Looks pretty good right here, but it smells incredible. For dessert tonight, I'm keeping it simple. I'm going to have one of these Chobani Zero Sugar. This is in the flavor of vanilla. These are okay. I definitely like the Too Good Yogurts better. I just think they have better flavor and texture, but these are okay. I'm glad that I tried them out. These only have 60 calories per little cup. This is the last one that I have, so I'm gonna make it simple and have yogurt for dessert. We can be so much more than who we are. So much more than who we are. We can, we can. Thank you for joining me on today's What I Eat in a Day on WW Personal Points. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the good, good food that I ate throughout the day, utilizing my meal preps, which seriously saves me so much thought when it comes to breakfast, lunch, and a snack. It just makes it incredibly easy. It's ready to go. I just warm it up. It's healthy. I know exactly the points, the calories, the macros. I really enjoy meal prepping every single week. So if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I would love to have you here. I do upload five days a week, so make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on. I'll make sure my weighted hula hoop from Amazon is down in the description box for you, as well as nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, my Facebook group. Come on over and join us there as well. Happy Wednesday, friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!